What's going on, Z Nation? And welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and potential free agents that might join the Los Angeles Lakers in 2019 free agency in July 1st. Now, before anything, like always, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, uh, I just got a notifications today about uh, a potential free agent that had uh, conversations about potentially, you know, thinking about joining the Los Angeles Lakers in free agency uh, in, in about two months. And I know it's, uh, I know it's, uh, you know, free agency starts on July 1st and we're just in May, so it takes like maybe two months for us to be talking about potential free agents but you know there's never any time like the present to really talk about the situation with the Los Angeles Lakers and potential free agents now um, according to uh, a couple of reports uh, from like Brian Windhorse and Stephen A. Smith about a month ago he potentially brought up the issue of Kyrie Irving joining the Los Angeles Lakers in 2019 now we all know the situation with Kyrie Irving. Uh, obviously, he, he got uh, eliminated from the playoffs, from the semifinals of, against the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. And there has been some rumors here and there that he is going to leave the Celtics. Now, there has been some attachments from the Lakers to Kyrie Irving because the whole relationship with LeBron James. And even Stephen A. Smith put up the, 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 the circumstances that Kyrie Irving wants to rejoin with LeBron James and team up in with the Los Angeles Lakers. And it kind of fits well with the whole situation because obviously he Kyrie Irving even mentioned that he sort of regrets leaving Cleveland and being a one-man I guess the one-man job for a certain team being number one option if you think about it uh, because he sort of misses and kind of regrets leaving Cleveland uh, because of LeBron James and he wants to be uh, the number one option and uh, he kind of sees now during his times with the uh, with the Celtics that he kind of missed that and he kind of and we can just honestly put it out there that he is going to leave uh, the Celtics in free agency, okay? And I, there's some rumors that he might join the New York Knicks, he might join the Nets, or, or he might even join the Los Angeles Lakers. So, yeah, I know it's kind of too early to tell, but there has been some reports out there from Brian Windhorst that he had some discussions in the past uh, that he wants to join the Los Angeles Lakers and reunite with LeBron James. Even Stephen A. Smith, a month ago, brought up that certain issue so and guys it kind of even without these reports if he is feeling that way we can potentially see Kyrie Irving join the Los Angeles Lakers in free agency 2019 so it could potentially happen and I kind of welcome that because we need somebody uh, of a point guard type of star caliber player to join the LeBron James and Kyrie Irving he is a good player I mean, the guy's shown throughout his years with the Celtics that he can't play ball. I mean, the guy can shoot, he can uh, also defend, and he's a good playmaker. So by having, having somebody like uh, Kyrie Irving joining the Los Angeles Lakers and team up with LeBron, it kind of fits well with the whole situation, and they could welcome more free agents to join in the team. Uh, now, I know what you all are saying, uh, you know, what about Lonzo Ball? I mean, he's also a point guard, and... Kyrie Irving is a point guard. I mean, it doesn't fit. Well, I actually think it does because also, if you think about it, Lonzo Ball does need a mentor that can really help him develop as a point guard down the line throughout the throughout his years with the in the NBA. So, uh, and by having somebody like Kyrie Irving who does have some sort of similarities with Lonzo Ball being a good playmaker and uh, defends as a player. Uh, maybe he should teach Lonzo a thing or two about how to shoot perimeter shots and shoot the threes more and just be very consistent with his shots. And I think Kyrie Irving is the type of guy that can really help him with that. And uh, honestly, 
maybe they can maybe Kyrie Irving can be the shooting guard for the Los Angeles Lakers that they are looking for and might you know team up with not just LeBron James but be the sort of duo with Lonzo Ball as it's at the same time but it still needs to be seen about that but I'm just putting things out there as a perspective and uh, just kind of thoughts and opinions about that sort of scenario if Kyrie Irving does join the Los Angeles Lakers how things will work out with Lonzo and Kyrie Irving because I really think they can play well together and uh, they could really develop a good relationship with both both players and uh, can also have you know with Lonzo he can not just have a good mentor with LeBron James but also have a good mentor with Kyrie Irving at the same time being a developing as a good leader and also develop his shots and maybe develop more as a good playmaker so um, that's my own thoughts and opinions, guys, about the whole Kyrie Irving. There's a potential of uh, other free agents that I might put in the conversation if the Lakers uh, get put their act together and just learn how to uh, develop, uh, you know, as a as a good uh, front office decision making type of. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm actually rambling here, but uh, if things work out with the front office and coaching wise and potential free agents that might join the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, I have a couple of people in mind that they might consider, maybe somebody like uh, uh, Clay Thompson, who in the past maybe a, maybe a couple of days or so, he did mention that there were some reports out there saying that you know Clay Thompson might join the Los Angeles Lakers or the Clippers if he doesn't get the max contract with uh, the Golden State Warriors. So... And I know some are saying that it's more of a Clippers than the Lakers situation if he does decide to leave Golden State. But uh, according to some reports, you know, from uh, Clay Thompson's father, uh, former Laker himself, he did mention that, um, you know, the Lakers are part of the conversation if he does leave uh, the Golden State Warriors. That's how. That's what I got from his uh, tweet that he made on Twitter maybe a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I'll put the uh, the tweet on this video so you guys can check that out. Um, so somebody like Clay Thompson, who, who by the way uh, is a good need for the Los Angeles Lakers. He is a elite All Star, uh, and also he can shoot, and he's a shooting guard, which we do need. Uh, as a type of, uh, of, a, of that type of position. So somebody like uh, Clay Thompson is considered f for the uh, type of options to join the Los Angeles Lakers that the Lakers might look at. Um, you know, there's also Kawhi Leonard, which, by the way, uh, there's been some reports out there that LeBron James was at was in Philadelphia during the time of the, uh, I believe it was like Game 3 or Game 2, of uh, of the Raptors versus the, uh, the the 76ers and there's been some connections that you know LeBron James is trying to recruit um, Ka Kawhi Leonard uh, and there's there's that sort of relationship between those two so it might potentially happen but I'm just putting it out there as the third option for the Lakers to look at if somehow Kawhi Leonard decides to leave the Raptors and I'm not sure either. There's been reports that he might join the, the Clippers because, you know, he does want to end up with the, um, you know, with the with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, w no, with the Clippers. No, sorry. Uh, with <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. In L.A., somehow, either with the Clippers or with the Los Angeles Lakers. So there have been some talks and opinions. And, guys, I just saw notifications. Forgive me for stumbling for that couple of minutes that couple of seconds ago because I just got a notification saying that the Lakers uh, could uh, could ask uh, Jason Kidd to be an assistant head coach if they somehow do hire uh, a potential head coach like uh, you know Frank Vogel or either uh, some other top contenders for uh, the head coaching job uh, if somehow they'll ask uh, Jason Kidd for that job, but uh, I'm just putting it out there. I just got notifications about that because I did make a video before this one about the potential uh, team up of Frank Vogel and Jason Kidd teaming up for a potential uh, head coaching staff. So um, 
<laughs> I just want to put that out there. But other than that, you know, somebody like Kawhi Leonard, uh, they might consider looking at him if he does decide to leave uh, Toronto to join either the Clippers or the Los Angeles Lakers. So it remains to be seen. But other than that, um, there has been some reports of maybe uh, DeMarcus Cousins because of his injuries and he might be on the downfall for because uh, of his uh, recent injury that he suffered. So they, they some teams might look at him. Maybe the Los Angeles Lakers are possibly on the top of that list, but uh, maybe somebody like him. But other than that, I know it's too early to tell, and I'm just putting things out there as a type of perspective of where the Lakers might be looking at when it comes to free agents. Uh, I'm just going to put it out there. KD is out of the question because, guys, I don't really see – KD teaming up with LeBron James. Okay, it's just not going to happen, and I just don't really think it will. I really think he might uh, either join the the New York Knicks or he possibly will remain with the Golden State Warriors. I mean, still remains to be seen. But other than that, guys, I give you guys my thoughts and my opinions. Please give me your thoughts about potential free agents that might join the Los Angeles Lakers in 2019. Is it Kawhi Leonard? Is it Kyrie Irving? Clay Thompson? DeMarcus Cousins, or is there somebody that I probably didn't mention, maybe uh, uh, Kemba Walker, who could be a good point guard to team up with LeBron James and also can really be a good mentor also for, Lon for Lonzo Ball as well. So uh, maybe him, he could be uh, mentioned in that consideration. Or Jimmy Butler. I mean, I also forgot about Jimmy Butler. We do need a shooting guard, and he might consider the job for uh, – to join the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, to be uh, teammates with LeBron James. I mean, it still remains to be seen. But other than that, guys, uh, I brought up my thoughts and my opinions about potential free agents. Please comment down below, give me your thoughts about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy.